I feel like it was just kind of like, you know, kind of like a divine intervention type thing. Oconee County Sheriff's Deputy Daniel Ellis used to ride his bike for a good workout, but now when he takes to the road, he does so in honor of a dear friend. During the month of September, Ellis is taking part in the Children's Cancer Research Fund's Great Cycling Challenge in an effort to raise awareness and funding for childhood cancer. According to the Center for Disease Control's data from 2017, cancer was the second leading cause of death among children between 5 and 14 in the United States. But while the money Ellis raises with the challenge will go towards children's cancer research, he was inspired to ride by his friend Evan Haggard. Back in April, the 28-year-old Haggard was diagnosed with desmoplastic small round cell tumors, or DSRCT, which is a rare form of sarcoma that has less than 500 reported cases since its discovery in 1989. But just days after Haggard's diagnosis, Ellis found a way he could support his friend. I feel like it was just kind of like meant to be because I had saw it probably within a week or two's time of when he got diagnosed. How else can I honor somebody by, you know, me doing something difficult while they grow into something difficult, you know? Ellis originally set a modest goal for his challenge, but after an amazing start, he's aiming even higher. What my original goal was $500. I got that with, you know, before September even hit. For Haggard, this show of support from his dear friend has meant the world to him. Uh, you know, my first reaction is just like, wow. Uh, you know, I never, I never thought that, you know, someone would do that. The encouragement, the support is probably the biggest thing that has gotten me through all of this. Ellis will keep riding for cancer for the rest of the month and continue to push himself physically to ride longer and faster than he's ever done before. While he says the rides never get any easier, he says putting a smile on his best friend's face is more than worth it. It makes a smile, and like, you know, you can hear a smile on somebody's face, especially when you call them when they're in the hospital on chemo, and they just sound like, you know, so down, and, and, and you know, it's the worst you've ever heard a friend talk, and then when you hear them talk about what's going on, and, you know, the happiness they're feeling is, is, is pretty incredible. Nathan Moore, Grady News Source.